Uh, today we're working on a uh, Power Wheels cat, a uh, little bulldozer, and a lady gave this to me and told me that the reverse didn't work and it would only work, the right side would only move forward. The left side didn't do anything at all. Uh, I already know what the problem was. It has to do with the little, whoops, has to do with the little switches right here that actually control the functions. And I'm gonna show you how to repair those. Uh, first off, if you're having this problem, and this goes for any kind of hot, or uh, any kind of power wheels, uh, because they all function and operate just about the same. They all have these little switches and stuff like that. So uh, usually your battery's under the seat. So you get up under here, at least disconnect the battery so you're not gonna cause any kind of problems. Um, while you're in here, sometimes it's a good idea to check for uh, any kind of debris or leaves or trash or whatever, usually just blow it out, vacuum it out. Uh, now I've already disassembled some of this stuff to kind of help speed this along right here. Like this was originally, these were plugged in right here into the switches and it helped if you actually took the steering wheel off. There's a little bolt right here that goes to the steering column that held this one in and I took it out Pulled the steering column out, or the steering wheel, whatever you want to call it, the controls out. Flip it around, and then there was, oh, I don't know, 10 or 12 screws that held everything together, and then it just kind of comes apart, and then you unplug it. And the actual culprit is inside the switches. And they can be kind of a pain in the butt to get out. So, let me see if I can't get them out real quick. I'll just do one. Helps if you pop it out a little bit, and then you can take a screwdriver, pry it out the rest of the way. Just be sure you, whenever you go to put it back in, that you're not facing backwards. So, anyway, I'll go over to the workbench and I'll show you how to fix this. Now, like I said, I've already fixed this one, but I'll show you what the problem was. If you look close, you'll see four little mounting tabs, little lock tabs that hold the internals of the switch together. And usually if you can just get in one of them, pry a little bit. See, just popped right out. You might get some little uh, parts fall apart here, or some stuff fall out of it. And I'll show you how to put this stuff back together. So usually what you find on these is these little rocker switches right here. Or, or not switches, I'm sorry, little rocker contacts. They tend to get dirty. Uh, dirty and corroded right here on these contacts, these four contacts, and then the same thing right here. There's four little contacts, two on this one and two on that one. And the way you fix it is you just get a little bit of sandpaper. I mean, it's just a very small piece. That's all I did. This was enough to do two switches that I had. And you just take some sandpaper, fold it up, and just start cleaning it out. Now, you don't have to get every little bit of corrosion out of here. As you can see, there's still a little bit of white corrosion down, down inside of here, but that's not gonna affect anything at all. Um, the only thing you have to worry about are these contacts right here, and then the center piece, the center contact right there. If there's any corrosion on that, it'll still not work real well. And then, just take your little Take your little uh, contact pieces. And I even put just a little dab of just axle grease, wheel bearing grease, on these little uh, pivot balls, and it helps them to stay whenever you're assembling it. Make sure none of the springs have fallen out, and also whenever you go to put this back together, 
make sure that the make sure that the control handle isn't pushed to the side or to either side make sure it's pretty centered or what can happen is if it's if it's pushed off to the side and you put it together it'll pop the little uh, pivot balls out of place and then you have to start over so and it doesn't matter which way it goes on just as long as it goes on so I have to line this up make sure that's close to straight and just push it down we're going to test in that function right there um, stay right here, I'm going to go grab my voltmeter here pause it real quick okay and now I'm going to show you how to check to make sure that everything is working if you have a voltmeter it really helps if you don't the best way to test it is just to put it back in the machine and just test it and I'll show you how to do that um, let me prop this up so we can see anyway if you have a voltmeter put it on ohms right there that little that little symbol right there and that's how you test the continuity you don't want to do this if there's voltage running through it but there's since there's no voltage it doesn't hurt anything on these particular switches uh, you go from the center out try to get a good hold on it here so if you watch the if you watch the voltmeter there's no continuity right now it's hard to do this alright I'm going to try to operate the switch see now the switch is making contact we're going to test this other pin see making good contact now. I'm going to flip the switch or go to the different pins here. Try it again. Yep, working good. Go to this next one. And that's how you do that. So now this, before I ever clean this thing up, it had no continuity whatsoever between the pins they were all uh, they were all corroded up pretty bad and I had to take the sandpaper and uh, clean up all the contacts so if you don't have a voltmeter you just go back to the once you get everything cleaned up you can come back over to the machine and it does not matter which way this plugs in it all works the same It'll only make the difference once you actually put it back together, just so you have forward and reverse. Okay. Plug the battery back in right here. And this one, you have to actually hold the gas pedal for it to do anything. See, right now it won't do anything until you hold it. We know that motor works. Now we're going to test the other side. how you clean these little contacts it's a lot better it's a lot cheaper than having to track down new ones uh, which I've had to do that in the past and it's a major pain in the butt so it's a lot easier just to pull these apart clean them up put them back together and if you leave them outside uh, it's very likely to do this you may have to do this every four or five six months just kind of depending on where you live how how wet it is outside. Um, if you live in a pretty dry climate, you probably never have to do it. Uh, and then it's a matter of just a reverse order, putting everything back together. So, all right, thank you for watching.